Michigan, Niagara. Happy Saturday evening. So, <laughs> it's 9.30 and we've been trying to go live for about four hours. I was just about ready to throw all my cameras and equipment in the garbage. I didn't recommend this setup to anybody. We Super wish, frustrating. I wish we could show you how it looks. Yeah, but we can't because my son has all the easy cameras. I have all the hard stuff with all the fickle converters that if the stars aren't aligned and the decimals aren't perfectly aligned. So it is shut off again? No. <laughs> Everything shuts down. Anyway, so where's our bag? So it's the autofocus is doing the autofocus. It is? Sort of. The lights are going to Alright, whatever. The lights are pulsing. So, we uh, are doing a little experiment here. So, we've got William Sonoma. Go ahead, tell me, Pam, what we've got. First of all, side note, these things are effing expensive. Yes. How much is that $15 one? $15 for the Meyer lemon, but it's gluten free. It's going to taste real good. Okay, here's another. These are really expensive, too. This is the William Sonoma gluten free Bouchon Bakery chocolate chip cookie mix. This is. $23. And this is the gluten free vanilla bean pound cake mix that looks really good. Also, it was $13. And the other day, we made the blueberry one, which I don't know if we posted or not, maybe on Facebook Live. But uh, we tried the blueberry one, which was the blueberry not version of it. this. Oh, yeah, the cookies. Oh, you hit them already. Took them. I made cookies while I was. Waiting for Deb to it was a get the set experience. set up. It's only been she's been working on it for three. It was just a what miserable time is experience. It? Let's just move on because I'm, oh, it's nine twenty-three. Debbie, so, I've been here since seven. Two hours and twenty-three minutes. So last week we made the blueberry one of these blueberry quick bread and um, it was good, gluten free. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. I can't eat it. I can't eat any of this stuff. Actually, I'm on an autoimmune diet, but I can smell it. So what are we gonna make well, now? Let's be honest here. She was eating it, even though she's been on the diet for eight months. But now, since she's almost done with the diet, she's decided to go hardcore for the last couple of weeks. No, this is la I've been hardcore now for two and a half weeks. I See? have five couple, more I weeks, said. four more weeks to go. So then I reintroduce food one at a time, so I have to stay strong, which I almost didn't do tonight, and that isn't helping. I <laughs> made gluten-free cookies while I was waiting. Look at that. Oh, beesh. Put oh yeah, hit the we have a camera a that set up for our what's it called? Food photography. Yeah, is it working? Uh, Don't hit any wires. Oh, yeah. Sue Kendall said hi. Hi, hey, so little girl. Renee Bosson said oh. hi. Hi, Bos Renee. How's the lighting? Bosson Um, Okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, I don't see the. Don't tell me that the close-up camera just shut off. Well, it's not even an option right now. Oh. Debbie's gonna jump off the roof. Sukhanal <laughs> nobly said, "It's not even an option." Food photography. Oh, this is Kim. <laughs> what do you mean? Food this photography. Is... This is Kim. <laughs> so so. Beach annoying. knew our joke. Look at that. All right. Well, anyway, is it not working? That's not working. Uh. That's what I was messing with before. All right. Let's get rolling. So. What are we going to make? I don't know. What should we make? Uh, and comment. Uh, any comments? Sue, what would you like us to make, Renee? Cause we, we, have can... a, we have a Meyer lemon. It's going to be really good, this one. She said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> we have the vanilla bean pound cake. <clears throat> we have gluten-free <clears throat> chocolate cookies, which I just really made. <clears throat> yeah. And the... Sue said, let's get rolling. Okay, yeah, what, pick. What... We would have made all three of them if I didn't have technical difficulties, but now, being almost midnight... Meatloaf. Really like <laughs> meatloaf isn't on the menu! Here. Lemon or vanilla? Here. Oh. Pick a hand. Oh, we're going to do a pick a hand? <laughs> uh, I want to make the lemon. the lemon. What? Renee said the lemon. Okay, yeah. good. We're making lemon. All right, so if you want to follow along... Uh, we will post, um, well, later. If you're watching this on YouTube, we'll have the link below so you can um, click on where to get this, but obviously William Sonoma. You can get it online, too. So what you're going to need is some cornstarch for dusting, two eggs, one package of this, eight tablespoons or one stick of unsalted 
butter, which I really like unsalted, but she's going to already, you know, go rogue and make it with salt. Go rogue. <laughs> Sue said Millie. And a uh, third of a quarter cup of milk. A third of a quarter cup of milk. I mean, a third of a, you know what, look, I just went through a traumatic experience trying to get all of this gear going. I'm like ready to give up on all of this stuff. I don't even know why we're doing this. That's how, that's how. <laughs> well, I would just like to say that I was happy using the iPhone, but it all started because the iPhone doesn't focus when you move. If we just didn't move anywhere and we stood still, it would be fine. Yeah. It was all blurry. It just didn't work. Uh, get this milk if you're going to get milk, A2. It's much better for you than regular milk. What does the A2 mean, Deb? I'll tell you. A1 is a particular kind of protein which isn't so good. People don't digest it so well. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what I'm talking about, but this is what I've read. So this is from cows, not treated with growth hormones or antibiotics. And, um, yeah, it's just basically it's supposed to be Mostly European cows produce A2 milk, and U.S. cows produce A1. Just a different type of protein, and this is supposedly more easily digestible. There that is one to grow on. Yeah. Renee said, I do salted too. Yeah. You Listen. Do? I love unsalted. Unsalted is so yummy. My grandmother used to make it in New York, or only buy unsalted butter in New York, and I thought okay, it was the best thing. Listen. It's like sweet. It's yeah. not sweet. It is. It tastes it's like, like butter. unsalted butter is like the white butter, and the salted butter is the yellow butter. It tastes like totally not true what she's saying. It tastes it, like it's totally true. In no. fact, let me see if I can find some. There's a recipe. There's a, a bakery in LA. I think it's called. I want to say husk. No, or something. It's pretty famous. I bought the girl's cookbook, and in the front of her cookbook, she gives you like these little tips and tricks. Right? She always says. Always use salted butter, and always double the salt that's called for in a recipe, and double the vanilla. Really? And I've been doing that for a long time, because <clears throat> I think there's not enough salt in recipes, and I really like when there's a little extra vanilla. But when I saw her cookbook said that, I was like, yeah, I'm so right and smart. <laughs> Excuse Debbie while she just proceeds to take her vitamins on our live. Listen, I'm way behind my schedule on taking vitamins. So while you're mixing all that up, were you going in here to get the butter and got distracted by your vitamins? I went in there and the unsalted butter's not in there, which means I don't know what happened to it since nobody likes unsalted butter than me, and I haven't been having unsalted butter. So I hope you guys didn't throw it out. I would be really upset. Samantha Nero. Yeah. That I agree with Kim Joyce, lol, and I always yeah, use salt, baby. Lol. Yeah. Renee said, lol, I do that, but never heard of it. Never do heard of it. Oh, adding. Yeah. Adding more. Yeah, try it. It works really good. So rather than I'm walking funny, because there's many an animal underfoot back here. <laughs> and the one that I almost just stepped on has already been hit by a car like four times. It has a bionic leg. Uh -huh. So I try and not that's, step She's on a three thousand dollar dog. We had to get a metal rod put in her leg. And my husband just wanted to go out and get another dog that looked similar, but that wanted to work, obviously. Moral of that story is don't take your kids with you to the vet. Well, kids and wife, because if he hadn't taken me, if it had just been Doug and he'd taken Boo, we would not have Boo anymore. Surely he would have put Boo down. As soon as he heard that three thousand, four thousand dollar vet bill, he was like, "Why, why, why, and what caused her to get injured?" She ran out in the front of a uh, car. She chases cars. She actually got run over, and she's a little Pomeranian. She's only like, figure out where is she? She's right underfoot. She's never far away. Come here, boobies. Okay, this is Boo. Oh, booby. She's had a rough life. She's actually been run over twice. She's also very grouchy. She's very grouchy. She hates our other dogs. We have really great dogs, and she just torments them. She doesn't really much like me either, but who could blame her? Like, where's Moo Moo? <laughs> where's Moo Moo? <laughs> you got two See, laughing, this, crying faces out of that one. As soon as Moo. <laughs> Three and a heart. Two more hearts. Moo Moo. <laughs> See? 
it's a common okay. phenomenon. Now like, watch, her, watch her go Tasmanian devil. Come here, Moo Moo's. So the other way. Come on. Sue, Sue said, I'd be grabbed you too if I got run over three times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shut up, Boo. And so this is Moo. She's a super sweet sheep doodle. Samantha said, oh, gee, twice? Yeah, twice. Yeah. I think actually three times. Doug would know. So, right. so what are we doing, Kim? Back to the situation. Um, I like to combine the milk and the eggs just because I like to keep my... Ingredients, my wet together. Nikki Stout says, "Hello, good people." Hey, Hello. Nikki. <laughs> so it's three quarters of a cup milch, as Susie would like to call it. See, there's no more comments. I, I thought I heard beeping over there. Maybe that was our camera turning back on. It was our camera turning off. Truly, you need to check it. So annoying. Okay, melted butter. Uh, two eggs, three quarters of a cup of milk. And that's it. And it goes in a preheated 350 degree oven. How about our, our product camera? Product camera is dead. I'm almost mm -hmm. afraid to try to monkey with it in case the regular camera goes out. It's mort. Man. How do I show? I just had a regular webcam. You can tip uh, it. Oh, wait, I do. I have three of them. My son has them. Oh. Ooh, it smells really lemony. Nice and lemony. Lemony, lemony. Yeah, I just don't want it. Scaring me. Scaring me. Yeah, it's not even registering this anymore, this box. So. So, I'm just going to put these into this Bubba Bund cake mold. Because it's been successful so far. Oh, well, that's what we use for the other ones, too. Yeah. Are you done with this? And I'm just going to use a big spoon and scoop it in. Make sure when you do, like, if you ever use a bundt cake mold, which I have a few, it's really worth your time. So it's time well spent to make sure that you get the grease or whatever oil you're using or pan or whatever into... The whole thing. So there's nothing worse than doing going through all this trouble, and then it sticks and doesn't come out. There's nothing more annoying. You guys are making both of those things, right? I mean, we'll see about that. Well, well, maybe just, make one tonight, and then yeah, you make one tomorrow. Make one tomorrow. I'll wake up at four and at four a.m. to get rolling on all the camera setup. Sure. <laughs> You'll still be up at four. You mean you'll start now? No, I'm going to go get one of those simple webcams. This other stuff. Is the just... Sony? Of your Oni? No, the, I don't have trouble with the Sony. Well, I have trouble with that Canon up there. Oh. The, the Canon cameras aren't really for live streaming. So. Oh. so you get this converter box and, you know, literally if it's not lined up exactly right and it just loses the connection and... Super frustrating. But I wonder, how do they do it like on TV? There must be a way. Uh, yeah, tens of thousands of dollars of professional equipment. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Only? Only? That makes sense. What I would really like to have from like a, the professional sets mm -hmm. is like that magical underneath the counter spot. Oh, yeah. Like I told you. Secret, secret kitchen beneath the floor, and they just yeah. pop up all I the went, real cook stuff. I was behind the scenes at the Rachel Ray show one time, and I was what? like, damn, this is like going behind the curtain. 
and there was like a kitchen, professional kitchen, right next to the set. And there was like 15 people working in there. And all of her stuff is already pre-made, pre-done. She just comes out and tells you what she's doing. And that's it. And it's all done and perfect for her. Okay, so. Ta-da! It's going in the oven. This says 45 to 50 minutes, but that's for a big cake. These are small, so these are going to be done in like 10 or 15 minutes. And I don't know if Debbie wants to come back when they're done. We can do that. But as I said earlier about those mixes, they're great. You can keep them in your pantry and then come and invite you over, you don't look like the person who comes empty handed. That's me. Ah. Easy. No, I probably like a bottle of wine or something. Yeah. It's easy to do too. But, you know, like, you get more bang for your buck when you bring, like, good lemon cake or something. Does yeah. it actually smell lemony? Yeah. It smells super sweet too. It smells like Confection sugar. Oh, Debbie and her confectioner sugar and her unsalted <laughs> butter. Here we go with the story. Here we go with the story about the I, confectioner the sugar. The confectioner that sugar is Here disgusting. Here we go. <laughs> so bad. Cue the story. It's so bad. Okay. Tell I us. I don't know why they make confection sugar icing. It's just the most disgusting thing. It's not. It's, it's just sugar. I know. It's just like super. So when I was seven <laughs> years old. Somewhere in Massachusetts, I had some confection sugar icing, and and that's it. I just lost it. I Maybe you just ate the, too much of it. Uh, I don't know, but I've never been able to eat it since, which isn't a bad thing because it's totally not good for you. She has eaten it many times. I put it on my donuts. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Confection sugar? Yes. You put like it's regular... It's called confectionary <laughs> sugar. <laughs> Number two. See? You've eaten it at my house thousands of times. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. She puts the, it, she dusts it on all of her stuff. Really? Yes. Okay, well that's different than making a big pasty <laughs> bunch of icing in it with butter and... But it's not... Loot. What? Two said, no, stay. No, stay. Stain. <laughs> okay, we can stay. All right, well... Sue, I would turn the camera around so you could see our setup. We've added some more lights, but I'm afraid to even move the camera like half a millimeter. I mean, it was really a uh, pain in the butt setting everything up this evening. It was two hours and two, half, two and a half hours. What? He said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Beauty's great. She's off to the side, but she's very, like, you know, not quite sure, like, if she should interject. With the comments. I was going to say, yeah. But I can hear the, the comment thing clicking over there. Yeah. The comments are the best part. Yeah. You ate thing comment. The ate thing comment thing. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. It looks fabulous, though. What looks fabu? Samantha. Mira. Who's fabulous, though? Huh. Sue said, more? No way. Let's talk about how oh, more lights. More lights. Let's yeah. talk about how fabulous. More lights. Two more. My cookie looks. Yeah, her cookies it's are pretty so amazing. Good. I mean, it's gluten free, and it's like crunchy on the sides, and it's chewy in the middle. I mean, it's a, it's epic, and it really they come out the best in Debbie's oven. My oven, they don't come out like this. Can you see it if I put it up close? Go oh, move my. Put your hand behind it. Try doing that. Put my hand behind it? Yeah. Like that? <laughs> no. Never mind. All right, like so that tomorrow, looks good. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to do another one of these. We'll do a whole series of them so you can then decide what you think is good or not. I mean, we'll try I want to try these. Good. The good thing about this box that I want to do is that you see this one, this, this name here, Bouchon. The cup for cup flour that I use the most is a gluten free flour. Was made by the pastry chef at the Bouchon Bakery, which is in Napa Valley, and it's 
What's the name of that guy whose restaurants are out there? Well, I can't even think of it. It's ad hoc and it's not. Anyways. <laughs> No idea. She's really good, and the mix is good. And so I'm sure that if they teamed up with Bouchon Bakery, that these cookies are going to be pretty good. Uh, Samantha Nerop said lights, lighting, camera, etc. And then she said, lol, it's gorgeous, too. And then she said, yep. <laughs> I don't really remember why she said those things. But, <laughs> but then Susie said, OMG, can you overnight that to me, please? Uh, No. This is not on the prescribed regime. Sue. Sue. <laughs> but next time you're here, I can gladly make you some. Um, see, what happens is Debbie gets all the cameras working and stuff, and then she goes back to her life. <laughs> <laughs> she spent two and a half hours getting it set up, and now she's like, are we done now? Yeah, pretty much. Are we done yet? Uh, so I think we should come back when they're done. What did you do to your arm? I didn't do anything to my arm. Hector the cat did something to my arm. Oh my god. Yeah. Is he? It's a it's huge a scratch. scratch. Oh wow. You yeah. picked him up? I picked him up. Well, I was trying to put him on his cat tree and take him down from the counter, and then he got caught on my jacket and whatever. So <laughs> that's all part of the trauma of today. Oh. Today it happened. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe we'll come back on real quick when the um, when they're done, when the lemon bubba bunts are done. Yeah. To show you what they look like. Yeah. Susan, tell us more stories. No, little gal, you know them all. <laughs> Susie knows all the stories. Um, we have special appearance for Doug. Where did he go? Did he leave? Yeah. Doug left like an hour ago. <laughs> he said he was taking your car. He said, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. God, I still so want one of those cookies. All right. What was I doing? I was making a shake. Yeah. A shake. Let's get back to making some shakes, shall we? Well, then I want cheese. Oh. That's the situation I'm trying to avoid. Because I've been three weeks, almost three weeks, super strict. I have four more weeks of this diet. I just want to make a comment that the height of this counter, I feel like really makes me feel and look really tall. Well. Also the height of the camera. I just feel like the height of you is tall, so that's all. Thanks. So while, <laughs> while those guys are eating cookies and Williams-Sonoma lemon cake, I'm going to be eating my dinner. No, Debbie made these wings that look pretty good. What, what oh, was yeah, on there? Good, actually. They were wings that were marinated in, in coconut oil, coconut no. aminos. No. Yeah, coconut aminos. See, now if we had our product camera going, you <laughs> could see. How's look, that look? look I tried a bite. That's it was good. good. They're actually really good. So it's their autoimmune wings. So I marinated. First of all, I get my wings from um, Butcher Box because it's all pasture-raised chicken. And, um, and grass fed or grass finished beef, I believe. Meaning they've had more than one blade of grass. Some of the stuff you get that says grass fed is like they nibbled on a great of blade of grass and then they call it grass fed. But anyway, so Butcher Box makes all this great meat. Anyway, so I take all these wings and I marinate them in avocado oil, coconut aminos, some balsamic vinegar. <laughs> she totally blocked me. <laughs> Sue said it's you should salt. be happy you're only five foot two. Me? Susie's only 5'2". I'm 5'4". I'm far more than 5'2". Anyway, whatever. Oh yeah, these. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I can't have the vinegar. Now I actually got distracted. Did I put one scoop in here or two? Um, I don't remember. Looks like, look it that? looks like one. Does anyone know if it was one scoop or two scoops? Comment, please. Does anyone know if Debbie went one or two scoops in that there? That kind of looks like two scoops, I think. Well, why don't you try it? And if it takes weak, you can add a scoop. You won't be able to withdraw a scoop. Yeah, That's true. Get down. Let's see. Let's take a minute. Let's hurry. All right. 
Beige, read us some commentary. Um, all the commentary is finished. Really? It's yeah. Saturday night. Nobody wants to. I thought to I heard another page. recent comment. Ooh, they're almost done. <gasps> um, Who can believe that? Oh, boobies. Anyway, we got like another two or three minutes and then they'll be done. And we'll recommend the use of this while baking. I honestly think that unsalted butter tastes like it's freezer burn. Really? Unsalted butter is gross. <laughs> it's girl. It's like this sacrilegious. It's a thermometer. And you can goog the internal temperature of certain baked goods and it will tell you what the temperature should be for it to be considered done. And it's a wonder when you can just stick it in there and it'll tell you, oh, it's done. You don't have to guess. A lot of guessing involved yeah. in baking and determining yeah, when no. something is done sometimes. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I always like to test the temperature. Yeah, also of my yeah. steaks. What? <laughs> Carly, <laughs> why don't you come on our set here? Uh, would you like to see my beautiful face? Yeah. Don't let me just hide my titillines. <laughs> They're a bit out tonight. It's going a little crazy. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. What you guys making? I really need it's to put my shake right now. Is that going to be... That's my other daughter that no one knows about. Mm -hmm. Debbie and I share her. Who? Yeah. You. I'm real hard to say that. She's a little upset because I gave her some shit about eating my cookies earlier. Yeah, I am. She's harboring some bad feelings right now. Uh, I'm a little hurt, but you know what? It's okay. I forgive you. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Bryant. Oh. Hi, Bryant. It's Kim, my mom, and Beach over here. They're doing their live. Man, they seem to I'll, I'll give you a shout out. Guys, I'm talking to Brian Gisman. Oh, wow. There you go. I think they're overdone. <laughs> I mean, I think they're too much to talk to him. Um, no, Brian like says he loves you. Love you too. Ew, don't say that. Yeah, don't say <laughs> she that. She doesn't mean it. So weird. Why? Anyway, right. These cakes are going to be done shwerly. Um, why, why are you guys freaking out about, out about Boo going out there? Was there something out there? You were like, is there something there? No. It was a coyote outside. Okay, it was a bobcat. I was trying to, like, not scare you. Cat was were you saying there were coyotes in your yard? There's coyotes in here, yes. In you the see backyard? Them all the time. No, in the front yard. Yeah. Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> My bad. You see them down the road here. I've seen them before when we drive up the street. Don't let your cat out. I don't. My cat's inside. My other cat got eaten by a coyote yeah. on Edgewood. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We think, anyway. Pretty sure. Okay. Okay. All right. I need to blend up yeah. my thing. Oh, we're gonna end. Should we end? Because these are gonna be done in like five minutes. Um, well, the only thing is I want to post this onto YouTube, and it's a whole lot of downtime. Like, you can cut it, no? Yeah, it's just what we're thinking to do. That's mm. fine. Yeah. Okay. You can hang up. You can <laughs> hang up. You can. <laughs> well, Next day. We we yeah, just show the final product. We also need to be the testers. Oh, um, let's see. It's my face mask. It tastes like, I mean, it tastes like. <laughs> it smells like Play Doh. Yeah, it smells like Play Doh, right? It's kind of nice. It is nice. Yeah. Well, how much longer? I don't know. Products. It's still a little jiggly. So I, yeah, I yeah, still watch this stuff right. that will. I, I, nobody's watching anyway, right? That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. You have to watch. I don't know who's watching. Oh, but sorry. Two viewers. Oops. Real we, viewers. We see you guys. It's still a little We big. recognize your hard work in watching this. It's still a little jiggly. <laughs> So wait, what, what, you guys are making pound cake and, did you make this? We're making a lemon. Ah. Just edit out the bullshit. So oh, you so. made this? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. What do you, what, when are you going to make this bad boy? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Woo! I'm excited for that one. Yeah. I didn't get to try last time because I was on a diet. That lasted five Samantha, days. Samantha said, hello, it did. chopped liver. Hello, John. Liver. Like, what am I, John? Liver on a diet. 
Because you constantly are like, no, Kylie, when we you get them a little bit. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you look at my butt, you're like. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. I'm you not going crazy, wear right? these high-waisted jeans that just accentuate, like, every. Probably Everybody a wants a big butt. It's in. The boobs are out. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> We're going to have to wait for them to come back around. And then what are you going to do? There's always plastic surgery. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Okay, see how it goes in there. There's balloons. There's always balloons, you said? So... Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today... <laughs> I love them. Come on, Kylie, take over. We've got yeah, some time. All right, guys, I know this is really boring. I can't curse because <laughs> my mom won't let me. <laughs> Aren't you emancipated? She's like, <laughs> what? She know what <laughs> <laughs> you mean emancipation proclamation? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Why would you read that? If so, yes. If so, sure. So you're free <laughs> to do it. Oh, that's what that means? You're emancipated. She's 19. Yeah. You're a grown up. Yeah, but she still goes, Kylie, don't curse. So? <laughs> oh, so I can't do it. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, you know. There's boundaries. You could, like, Limits. abbreviate MF. Limits. Yeah. Mother. Mm. Yeah. I know what I When I went on a school trip, you weren't, She's like, allowed laughing. to curse at all. And we went to Rock City in Tennessee. <laughs> and so I was walking around, and you can't curse, even though we're out of town even though we're not in school. And so I was just going, you know that song where it's like, uh, Rack City. Yeah, Rack City, Rack, Rack City, bitch. Tin, tin, yeah. tin, 20 song, titties. Bachacha. I don't know that So, song. anyways, it's a, it's a, Funny how Debbie doesn't know that yeah, song. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, so I went there and I was like, I was just like, Rock City, Rock, Rock City, tin, 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 20 song. Doing that over and over and over again because I couldn't curse. Really? Stevia gummies. They're actually really music. good. Yeah. Prebiotic soluble fiber from tapioca gelatin, chicory root fiber, citric acid, malic <laughs> acid, fruit oh my vegetable God, juice. I can't eat it. Why not? Spit it out. I have to. Citric acid? Citric well, acid. It's vitamin C. Anyway, the blue I ones are better. Shockingly, I can eat this. The blue Swedish ones. Swedish ones. Swedish ones are better. I don't like the Swedish fish. Sue said, ha ha. Thanks, Thanks for letting me get a word in. Yeah. <laughs> when are you making the chocolate ones? Chocolate chip ones? Maybe tomorrow. I can't imagine those are going to be anything close to your cookies. I don't know, but it would be great to do a little <whistles> taste test. Yeah. Do, do another bath. Do a bath those for your are cookies massive. tomorrow. And the mm -hmm. one in Sonoma one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, boy. Party yeah. people <laughs> in the house. Right? What did you say? They don't even what? Did I miss a joke? Yeah. No. Boom. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> baby. What, what are you what are you trying to see? What's the temperature? <laughs> it's supposed to be 185 or 190. Yeah, I was I said, oh, that's massive. And then I looked at Beach and I was like, here. Put mm -hmm. this on top of that because it's good. I just think that it should be on top of something. <laughs> Wow, those things really. So now I need the cookie sheet. Can you see them, these? Yeah. Bring a little closer. Yeah, bring them closer. Want to compare it like in size? Want to compare it in size to something? Oh wow, they look really good actually. Hold the cookie up to them. Yeah. Well, just just do this real fast. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But in comparison to this mug, that's the cookie. But in comparison to the mug, <laughs> this is my giant palm. This um, is my foot. <laughs> What's happened with this cookie over here? It dropped on the floor? Oh, no. oh, sorry. I'm going to dump these out in a second. I think we can move You're this okay. over. Okay, stop. stop, and stop. We will Stay tuned tomorrow. We'll Why try one of these. Is only We're part both. of your face masks. 
Good question. It's so, the, is it the T-zones? It is the T-zone. It's just I had pimples in this, this, and this area. This is unnecessary. That's why. She doesn't want to waste her product. That's true. It was like That's 20... I, Kylie's a very frugal person. The face mask Perfect. cost me $20. OMG. How long has it lasted you? It's a good amount of time. Oh, it's like a tube and you use it multiple times? No, it's like this little jar. It's that, you know that shampoo conditioner you have, the she, the she moisture one? Yeah. It's that and it's she. like... She. That she. I yeah. <laughs> I say she. <laughs> it's like that and it's like, it smells like Play-Doh and it's gray and it's like mud. Okay. I mean, obviously it's gray. Me. Samantha Nero said, gotcha, lol. Oh. You can sit down. I can do a little video on YouTube if you want. Do the whole, hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Am I in the frame? Yeah. No. Am I in the frame now? <laughs> a little bit. Okay, you're good. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so today we're going to... That's how it goes. <laughs> we can't do that on our YouTube channel. Why? Because we're not 16. Yeah, you can. Go ahead and try it. No. Come on. Mom, give it a shot. Oh my god, are they sticky? No. The are they all out? No, no, no. no. The, still stuck. the back ones are... Mom, say hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey guys. You can just do it. Can you be a cool mom? Woo! <laughs> Oh, Whoa! Unfortunately not. It can't be a cool mom. Boobie. Can you hear Hitler over there growling at everybody? Oh, shut up. You're not going outside. Oh, yeah. Look at my there. stuff. I'm not sure how we feel about it. Just a few short running. weeks. You know, like, one day you're going to be liberated. I'm not in the shot, am I? You are. Well, from the death camp of diet. You're fully in three uh, weeks and six days after. <laughs> Do we not have any pickles left? Sarah eats them all. Riley, uh, do you want to try one? <laughs> sure, but you know I'm not a big fan of lemon. You're not? No. How is that even possible? Woo! What's weird about my citrus so butter on them? Look at that. So good. These okay. cakes are actually really good. I'm going to judge that. But... <laughs> you want to try it? Is it in the... Can you see it in the frame, Beach? Um, yeah. So I'm going to take this. Replace the cookie plate. Replace the cookie plate with the yeah. It's still a little bit wet inside. There's a hair. Don't <laughs> worry. It's for flavor. I got it up. It's like a bay leaf. <laughs> it gives it more texture. It's like bay leaves. You, you add it and then you take it out. That looks like it. Boo's hair. It's not a hair. It's like a string. No. It's like a piece of fabric. A piece of... Y'all welcome to come over here and taste test. <laughs> this is the piece that I'll be eating. Uh, Don't put yourself out. It's huge. It's a huge. One. You want some butter on it? Is it unsalted? Unsalted that is. Mm. Not so much. It's great. Did you have it? <laughs> Did you have the? Um, no, I'm just not that. I don't. I don't really like the lemon. Hi, right, Beach. Come over here and taste it. Beach yeah. likes lemon. They were not really dressed for this occasion, actually. That's, nor am I. Beach is wearing my mom's pajamas and her <laughs> orange hoodie. I have my slippers on. Throw me under the bus there. Well, we're gonna see it anyway. No, we only see her hoodie. Oh. Let's touch your butt. Have that yeah, feel. Beach. <laughs> Still. I'm gonna go man the the, the computer now. Alright, well, we're gonna say bye and sign off. No, I'm, I'm manning the computer. How is it, Beach? Um, let me try it again. Um, just one more try. Do you guys want to make any more comments? I like it. I think the so she good. likes it. I don't like it because I don't really like lemon. Don't you like about it? I don't like no, not the lemon, but I also just don't like the consistency. Yeah. It might just be just because it's still hot. Yeah, yes. it's a little bit like. I'm just gonna stick my nose in this because she's moist. It. Just put your hand all over it. Just go ahead. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's super sweet smelling. It tastes good. The, the, the consistency and the texture is actually really good. Yeah. Like for sure. Potato, for sure. I was looking for sweet any potato. graininess. And <laughs> yeah. I didn't find any. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there all day then. You do realize that it's so difficult to make a gluten free cake. 
because there's no lift. There's nothing to lift it, and it doesn't hold itself together like gluten does. Is this gluten-free? Yeah, yes. But, yeah, but that was good. Where is it? The pound cake. The pound cake is amazing, actually. Yeah, so really we're doing the pound cake tomorrow. But you could probably, my recommendation would be to buy the pound cake. Oh, we got some a, comments. Do a lemon juice and confectioner sugar glaze. You, Lanta? Just do confectioner That's what sugar I say. glaze. Mix the that. lemon. Oh. It's good. Um, so that's that's her comment. So we'll yeah, seven and a half out of ten, I give it. I love lemon. Yeah, who loves Me lemon? Me too. <laughs> Samantha Nero. Mm. I hope I'm saying her name right. It's really no, good. I love lemon too, but not in my food and my desserts. Emma doesn't like it either. She says it makes it taste like. I like I like that. eating like if you give me a lemon wedge, I like eating that. Nope. That's wrong. That's wrong of you. <laughs> Not the rhyme. To the kids when they were babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 God. Disaster. All right, well. Uh, Samantha in Europe said, you're all adorable. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for watching. You're adorable. <laughs> no, you. No, you. So tomorrow, <laughs> join us again, uh, and we'll try something new. Yeah, maybe we'll do a bake-off between this Bouchon Bakery chocolate chip William Sonoma cookies and Kimmy's, which I think there'll be no match, but we'll see. I think my objection to this is the fake this vanilla the flavor. It's fake vanilla? Yeah, it smells like lemon juice. It's like lemon flavoring. Oh, you said vanilla one. Yeah, well, yep. let's just have a little read vanilla. of the ingredients oh, yeah. here. Gluten-free flour, cornstarch, white rice flour, brown rice flour, milk powder, tapioca flour, potato starch, xanthan gum, sugar, natu natural vanilla flavor. Yeah, and then? Natural Meyer, Meyer lemon flavor, sodium <laughs> bicarbonate, <Natural Meyer>. salt, <laughs> citric acid, natural <laughs> lemon flavor, a whole lot of stuff. Way too many things to make it safe for me to eat. Sodium acid, phyrophosphorate, something or other, sodium bicarbonate, cornstarch, mono calcium phosphate, freeze dried lemon, and it contains milk. Freeze dried lemon, I think that's what it is. Anyway, Kim gives it a seven and a half. Beige likes it. I'm sure when my husband gets home, he'll gobble some up. Oh, yeah. And there you go. And the other kids, when they come down here and find it, will also eat them. I, so, you so guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Toodaloo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was my cue. Sorry. Missed that one. And done. <laughs> and announced.